Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Back with another video. I'm Kel. I'm Sophia. The Kel Squad Cast yeah. Chat. It's been a minute since we did a WWE reaction. You know, you know, you know, you know. Sorry about that, but we back with another mm -hmm. WWE reaction. Let them know what we react to today. It's called the five bloodiest WWE matches of all time. Yeah, all time. all time. I love watching like old clips. Mm -hmm. I was a big fan of wrestling growing up. So, like, watching all the old clips and stuff, combinations. I, I like it. So we're gonna get into this video. video. All right, let's get it. Let's go. I can't even remember the bloodiest one that I seen. Yes, I saw a couple, but I can't even name them right now. WWE Raw. Don't forget to subscribe <laughs> and turn on notifications. Okay. Please note that viewer discretion is advised. I need it. Damn. Now I know why. Five bloodiest WWE matches of all time. Who that, Eddie Guerrero? No. Number five. MNM versus the Hardy Boys versus Paul London and Brian Kendrick versus William Regal and Dave Taylor. Damn. This match took place in Armageddon 2006, and it left yeah. fans with a holy sh** moment when damn. an unfortunate accident occurred, which saw Joey Mercury taking a full force ladder hit right to the face. The yeah. incident occurred yeah, when Jeff Hardy attempted to jump oh, on the yeah. ladder, which pushed the other end up off the ground, right into Joey's face. Joey Mercury was immediately scrambling around on the ground, and the blood was gushing from his nose. Yeah. This stunt was definitely unplanned and was one of the worst injuries in wrestling history. Damn. Number four, John Cena versus Edge versus Triple H. The main event of the 2006 <laughs> Backlash was a triple threat match for the WWE Championship between John Cena, Edge and Triple H. As the match began, Edge chose to stand outside the ring, hoping that Cena and Triple H would simply fight the match themselves. However, Cena and Triple H teamed up and turned against Edge. Damn! The first blood was drawn by Ooh. Edge, who catapulted Triple H into a steel ring post. Which... I know you see that part, but look at this. She was crazy. Let me put away here, maybe she. However, there Cena Triple H team. This this Jew John Cena got two of them on oh, his back. Oh wow! <laughs> they both on his back. You mm -hmm. see that? That's crazy, right? That is there. insane. That's why I was like, oh, yeah. he got Triple H because he's strong. That's a fun. I didn't even see that. That's why I was like, oh. Up and turned against Edge. The first blood was drawn by Edge, who catapulted Triple mm. H into a steel ring post, which made mm. Triple H bleed profusely as a result. Afterwards, Edge drove Triple H's head through a table and then focused on Cena. Eventually, mm. Cena went on to win the match. However, Triple H afterwards did take a sledgehammer to Cena, Edge, and even referee. Brutal. Number three, Triple H versus Batista. Triple H versus Batista in a Hell in a Cell for the World Heavyweight Championship was the main event mm -hmm. of the Vengeance pay per view in 2005. Yeah. This match soon turned bloody and Batista in the other match. Head no. against the steel. Triple H doesn't bleed in the other match. Exactly. I'm bleeding in this one too. That's crazy, yo. You like the bleed, yo. Yeah. <laughs> Triple H would then go on to burst Batista's head open by delivering a DDT into a steel chair wrapped in barbed wire, head first. During the match, Triple H choked Batista with a chain, and then hit him on the back with a steel chair, yeah. which was also wrapped with barbed wire. Batista regained momentum, mm -hmm. however, yeah. by grabbing Triple H's sledgehammer and hitting him in the mouth. This epic match soon ended when Batista delivered a Batista bomb on Triple H. Both men ended up with serious wounds and a mixture of each other's blood covering both wrestlers. Damn. Number two, John Cena versus JBL. 
The John Cena JBL feud in 2005 saw Cena win his first WWE title from JBL at WrestleMania 21. They followed that match up with this I Quit match at Judgment Day 2005. This bloody match began when JBL hit Cena hard in the face with a steel chair, causing him to bust open. Cena soon had blood covering his face, arms, and chest. He's walking out with two belts, though. The fighting continued out of the ring and into some equipment in the entranceway. JBL was bleeding just as much as Cena. The match ended when JBL said, I quit, as Cena prepared to hit him with an exhaust pipe, which came from a semi-truck in the ramp area. Yeah. As a result, Cena retained the WWE Championship. Despite the match being over, Cena still did hit JBL with that exhaust pipe. Damn, that's a I want to see what's number one, because uh, uh, number two is cool. Number one, Eddie yeah. Guerrero versus JBL. Yeah, the Eddie Guerrero, Eddie Guerrero was in the beginning. John mm -hmm. Bradshaw Layfield was a WWE title match that ended in a DQ, but will never be forgotten by anyone that ever saw it. This brutal match occurred at the pay-per-view Judgment Day 2004. You might be thinking to yourself, well, why is this the bloodiest match in WWE history? Well, it's due to the amount of blood that Eddie Guerrero lost during this match. JBL hit Guerrero in the head so hard that it caused an artery to cut open, okay. severely causing his head to gush out with blood. Despite the Lame. bad cut, the match continued, and the blood continued to pour from Eddie's head, even more so when JBL got him in a headlock. Minutes later, the blood continued to pour, and it was Damn. all over the and still be fine like Guerrero that. was so gashed up that he went into shock backstage after the match. This one was simply hard to watch. Mm -hmm. Guerrero would keep the title, losing the match by disqualification. That's crazy. Hey, that's that's some bloody mess right there. That's crazy. Yeah, the old wrestling used to be all bloody. Yeah, they used to be bloody. They be doing some wild stuff mm -hmm. in the ring. They that's some chairs. Mm -hmm. yeah, they, people say wrestling is fake, but a lot of the moves they do will be real. They really be mm -hmm. hurting their bodies, hurting, yeah. they hurting each other to entertain us. Yeah, they train athletes. Mm -hmm. They train. To get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, don't if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, mm -hmm. smash the like button, also leave a comment down below. You want us to react to more WWE mm -hmm. video videos. Alright guys. Also if you go to the channel, you can subscribe, what else can you do? Hit that notification bell. Ding ding ding. Mm -hmm. So every time you drop a new video, you will know. You will know. Alright guys, I'm Kel. I'm Sophia. We the K Squad Reaction channel. Alright guys, stay safe out there. Bye. Bye.